We are the Elson family, Joe, Tegan and three-year-old Oliver. Twelve months ago, we packed up our apartment and sold all our possessions to travel the world full-time. Join our family adventures as we travel across Sri Lanka, taking in cultural sites, the beautiful beaches and creating memories in this incredible country. Join us as we explore the streets of Colombo, taking in the sights and sounds of this wonderful city. We'll see temples, a mosque and church and immerse ourselves in the hustle and bustle of the city. So today's adventure, very wobbly adventure because my gimbal's not working, so apologies. But we are heading to a church, a mosque and a Hindu temple today. Yesterday we did Buddhist, so we're going to hit the four main religions all in one day. First of all, we're going to walk down. It's quite a busy shopping shopping street and market. We'll end up a market as well. Try to give you a bit of a feel of what's uh, what's going on. So we are now taking a little bit of a walk down C Street, where lots of temples. A little bit less chaotic, which is good. And we're going to head towards St. Anthony's Church first, then work back to a Hindu temple, hopefully a mosque. We're not sure if we can get in or not. I think we may even get some treats, some Sri Lankan sweet treats. Sweet treats? I think we should get someone some sweets. <laughs> <laughs> so Anthony here, chilling out on his glass box. Now we're going into St Anthony's. This was actually, fortunately, the scene of the Easter Sunday bombings. 57 people lost their lives. Of the uh, devastation, you can still see the damage in places around the church. Pretty horrific. Can we get one of them? Sure. Which, which one is nicer? Which one's sweeter? That one or that one? Which one do you like better? This one. The orange one. Oh, what's this? Try? Okay, we'll try one. We'll have a little bit of it. One of those, yeah. We'll get uh, one, one. Like? Yes. Hello. Bye. Bye. So after ordering all of the sweets, Tegan's gonna try them. Yes. Do you want one of those? No. <laughs> you got one of those, yeah. The pink sweet. Yeah, you can eat the pink sweet. Would you like a pink sweet? No, no, I'm not eating the pink sweet. My dick in it. Oh, you're gonna lick you're it. You're gonna lick it. Yeah. Uh, yummy. <laughs> this one. Looks like dates and fruit, maybe honey. Chai seeds, sesame seeds. Mm. Yummy. It's like a seed bowl. Hmm. There we are. Don't know what it is. Yep. It's really nice. I just don't know what it is. It might be deep fried something. Yeah. Which is probably not good for me. No. Let's try deep fried orange. How is it, Ollie? Yeah. Ollie? Would you recommend the pink? Sweet for everyone else to try? No. no. No? You don't think anyone else should try it? Is it horrible? Yeah. Yeah? No, it's yummy. No, it's yummy, isn't it? It's like coconut. Pink coconut. Is it rose water or something pink? It's just sugar, isn't it? So on the same road as St Anthony's, we have... A Hindu temple. 
and let's see if we're allowed in. Keegan's not appropriately dressed. You go through and I'll wait for you with Okay. We don't think Tegan's probably appropriately dressed for this temple. No. Or for no, anything in life. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to go solo on this one. I'll see you in there. Joe has just come hey. out of the uh, Hindu temple. Uh, yes, yeah, so I just received the blessing of the mother and the father. Aww, mm. so nice. I have to look it up and I'm trying to explain a little bit more. But, oh, Daddy got a blessing. It was a nice thing. It was a good thing. <laughs> and uh, we can bless you later because I've got some. Aww. Main Street has everything you could ever want. <laughs> We got food, clothes, dressing, chaos. Ah, even a professional Sri Lankan cyclist. And then we've got the Red Mosque, which appears to be closed. Which is a massive shame because it looks beautiful inside. Just a short walk from the fort area. We have a number of uh, markets and shops areas. Lots of headphones actually in the market for some headphones. So we'll give you a quick tour. This seems to be Electronic Street, but look at the. Uh, this is the Sri Lanka I love. It's not the fort, it's not the expats, uh, expensive beers and toned down food. Look at this, this is Colombo's on their, on their Sunday day off, all going out shopping. Is that a busy shop? If you need any shopping in Colombo, here is where to go. This has everything. Now we seem to be in Glasses Street. We have a little look. Get some. Should I get some gangster sunglasses? Yeah. You know the ones, like the real big flashy ones we saw everyone in the Maldives wear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and we've got a little museum here that happens to be closed though. The Dutch Museum. Ooh. I love how friendly people are. They are so nice here. Yeah, any Tupperware? I mean, I do love trouble with it. You do? Oh, it looks like we're turning to... What's down here? What's this street? So we come out of Glasses Street. Now we're in Fluffy Ear Place. Nice. They're nice. Mm. Hello. How are you? Oh, fine. This one here? Oh, it's quite good for me. I need to be super light. Oh, okay. Come back then. Come back then. Come back back then. Thank you. Right, this seems to be closed streets. Which for the right price, I could be tempted by a lightweight cotton shirt. Hello! <laughs> Oh, hats. Hmm. Do you want silver? Should I get a white hat like that? And bags. Yeah, just soaking this all in. 
Asking me about snorkeling. Yeah. Right, we've got these many, many crossroads. Walking up. Let's go this way. Oh, chippies. There's a lot of uh, poverty still here in Colombo. What's going on here? We got drinks, coffee. I don't know. Plate. Maybe a wedding of some kind. Looks fun. Okay. Let's have a look at the map. Shutter point camera. So we're looking for a particular <laughs> shop. Hmm. Which doesn't appear. To be here. <laughs> That's going to be the problem with trying to find anything on Google and then trying to find it in these markets may not exist. Yeah. Oliver, what is uh, what is in the roll, uh, the rolls? Fish, egg, hmm. and a samosa. Chicken samosa. This one good. This one good. I'll have one of those, please. What are these? And uh, jujubes. What are they? Jujubes. Uh, could I get one of the um, the little sweet rolls at the back? Yeah. What are you getting, mummy? I'm going safe. Because I. Hello. Do you want to share this with me? Do you want me to share this? Yep. Okay. You want I'll one? I'll share of that with you. What is that one? Chocolate, chocolate flavor. Chocolate. Butterfee chocolate flavor. Can we get one chocolate for you? And one of these, please. And one of these. And one of these. And one of these, please. And one of these, please. Yay. Have you ordered everything, mummy? <laughs> Yeah, I've ordered. Okay. It's a marvelous. Thank you. So, which ones did we buy, Ollie? All of them? Did we get a lot of sweets there? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. How much do you How Really good.
Good morning. This is day two of our adventure. We've just gone for a walk around the lake. Um, lots of activity, people rowing, fishing. Let's have a look. I'll show you this. I assume here he's trying to scare the fish. So after a walk around the lake, we have headed to the park. We got train rides, paths. Food, stalls, ice cream, bridges. We also have a little horse paddock. Hello. <laughs> we, in this beautiful park, we also got a golden Buddha. Every park should have one. We've just arrived at the Ganga Rahmaya temple. I wasn't expecting this but inside the the temple we've got lots of little artifacts of porcelain and ivory wow and there's some big elephant tusks Why? But there's also a case full of cameras and watches in this temple. Absolutely no idea why. <laughs> Today, uh, we're going to show you around the kind of the port area and the uh, the Dutch hospital where our hotel is located. Uh, it's a really, really good spot. Um, it is. It's not uh, the real Colombo, but uh, if you've got a, a child like we do, it's probably a nice balance between the two. Uh, here you do have some big fancy hotels, a lot of government buildings as well, and military buildings. And uh, we have stumbled across what is, uh, seems like the whole of Colombo doing their photo shoots. Uh, either marriage, birthday um, or just seems to be a little bit racy maybe their tinder picture not sure let's show you a little bit around got tuck tucks and then we got kind of some of the big bank buildings hello so we know this area really, really well now. What do you, what do you think of it? I think if you're going to stay here for the first time, you're going to stay here. Yeah, it's a good kind of starting point for Sri Lanka. The the other real positive as well, it's it's actually only a few minute walk away from the uh, train station, so uh, it's not too bad. So if you're heading south or you're doing the, the uh, iconic train trips across Sri Lanka, which is seems to be the biggest draw for tourists at the moment. Every time we talk about Sri Lanka to another traveler, they say, are you doing the train? Are you doing the train? What we wish was to stay in some of these fancy hotels, but we're actually staying in the Zest Metropole, which is smaller, but to be honest, it's probably uh, one of the nicest hotels we'll stay in this year. Right down the water, you've got the beach, 
uh, you have uh, some uh, a big shopping centre, some more restaurants, and lots of kind of kites and uh, bits and pieces. And where we're heading is actually uh, down towards the port. Here is the lighthouse. Yeah, especially with that strap to you. Hello. Now he's not so shy. Yeah. Okay, say bye. 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 <laughs> and we have this incredible monument, which I have no idea what it is. It's almost like part religious, uh, part kind of, you know, kind of watchtower, because this would have overlooked the whole of the docks. That's a big assumption there, I don't know what it is. We'll, uh, we'll find out. So here we have just under the floaty temple thing, the Maritime Museum, which I think Oliver would love. But he's being a bit grumpy this morning. Ollie, I see cannon. Do you want to look at a cannon? <gasps> look, Ollie, look at this anchor. Wow. Because it's here to show people, so normally that anchor would be under the sea. We now have a dilemma where we've seen the big floaty temple thing. But we think the lift may not be working. For anyone that reads Sri Lankan. You want to go up the stairs? Everyone's going to Okay. Yeah. Head, hats, yeah. Please move shoes and headgear when entering. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Shoes off, Ollie. Shoes off. Hats off. Yep. Hats, hats off, off too. Oh, because this is a very special place. So we need to take our shoes and hats off. Do you want to take both off? No, I just want to be able to clip. Oh. Breathe, eh? Hey? Ollie uh, clipped me up. Okay. Let's just show you the height of this in the boiling sun. I mean, it must be crazy. So, we want to get the lift. Woohoo! Yeah, except it's locked. So, let's let's do the twenty-story walk. I'm done already. Yeah, we need to try and keep out the sun too. None of us have sun very much. Yes, mum. <laughs> Here we are. It is the artwork in here is absolutely beautiful. And we are really are top of the world. Not quite the Sistine Chapel, but still amazing. Yeah? Is that where it ends? Yeah. Is that where it finishes? Yeah. Then look. This way again. This is the fort region. So it's obviously your new land. And then. Go back, Daddy. Go back. We have. Thanks for watching. Click and subscribe to continue following our journey as we travel across the world. Subscribe and subscribe.